Today on the pageant cast, we go to Kelly Robbins. She's Mrs. Galaxy 2014. Welcome to the pageant cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet. Hi, I'm Laura Buman, Miss Universal Dream 2013, and you are watching The Pageant Cast, the first internet podcast about beauty pageants. Here is your host, Tim Kretschmann. Welcome to The Pageant Cast. We're so excited because today I have a friend that we've had on the show before, but she is a wonderful lady and she has a national title. She's Mrs. Galaxy 2014. Kelly Robbins. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Tim. How are you today? Fantastic. Hey, where are we calling you tonight? I am in St. Augustine, Florida, where we had a cool day today of 85 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a little bit it's a little bit cooler here, but well Kelly, it's great to connect with you again and first I want to ask you, what are some of your pageant scenes? What are some of the past titles that led you to the prestigious title you now have? Well, I did start pageants in 2007, and that was with my kids, and they they decided that their mommy was pretty, so they wanted me to do pageants. And I, from the minute I started doing them, I loved them. I loved what you were able to do, dress up. You were able to do a bunch of stuff with other women and hang out and make friends. So I actually originally am from Canada. I moved down to the States about three years ago, and I started off with a provincial title which was mrs calgary alberta went to mrs canada won that and then came down to the states and competed in galaxy and went from there fantastic so i i met you a couple of years ago what has been uh, the big changes in your life since then well um kids are getting older i have a <laughs> 19 uh 15 and 13 year old now and I think with pageants, the things that probably have changed is I've learned probably one of the biggest things is to just let go and trust myself, not try to be everything that I think people want me to be, but actually just be myself. And I really think that's what brought me to this title. Well, may I thank you for saying let it go and not singing it? That's a, that's a big plus these days. But that would be painful for you. <laughs> it would be painful. So... One of the things I've always wondered about is the Canadian pageant scene. You, it, it, I know in Wisconsin, we're pretty far north. We're away from, I guess, what I would call the pageant belt. And I think the pageant scene up here is pretty quiet, uh, particularly when compared to the southern and eastern United States. What is it like up in Canada? Well, I'd have to agree with you. It is very quiet in Canada. Pageantry is definitely not the same. I mean, living in Florida, it is alive and well in Florida. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. And in Canada, it is very quiet up there. It's a shame because I think what pageantry brings to people and the character it builds and what it can prepare you for in life is so beneficial. And unfortunately, in Canada, I don't know why it just hasn't caught on the way it has here in the United States. Well, and I I would just say it hasn't caught on everywhere in the United States. I mean, That's it's been true. here for longer, but there are states, um, particularly to the west, where I go, wow, there's really not a whole lot going on. What made you choose Galaxy pageants? Well, I definitely like the fashion forward that Galaxy is. I like that it definitely has appearances as one of the things that you must do to be in the Galaxy system, as well as I love the fashion aspect that you have not only swimsuit and evening wear, but you have fashion. So in fashion, it's great to be able to express your own style and who you are. And I just, I really like how it had that kind of an attitude, a little more fashion forward and taking it that way. Now, what do you think has been one of the secrets of your success in pageantry? Well, you know what? I think one of the things is definitely let it go. And I, I won't sing, I promise. Okay. But I have really learned to just trust that if it's my time for a title, it's my time. Right. And I will do everything that I can to make sure that I put my best foot forward and represent myself properly. But I really do trust and I am at peace that if it's meant to be, it's going to happen. 
All right. Now, if people want to learn more about your pageant secrets, I, I hear you now have a way that people can learn about that, something beneath the banner. Yes, I have a pageant coaching business that I just started, and if you notice, beneath the banner is your heart, and that's where that comes from because I really believe that we can have beauty on the outside, but you have to have a good heart on the inside for that to shine. So that's where Beneath the Banner came from. So it is a full pageant coaching business, wardrobe choices, interview. I'm also a personal trainer and a nutritionist. So that helps with me coaching girls, getting them ready for those lovely swimsuit times on the stage. So yes, I just launched Beneath the Banner very recently. Hey, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to be back with more with Kelly Robbins. She's Mrs. Galaxy 2014 in just a moment. Don't go anywhere, folks. You're the man. Tim's the man. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jenny Flores, your Utah Super Queen. I was recently in the documentary called There She Is with my best friend Allison Kopak, competing in a plus size pageant and trying to encourage people that no matter our size, we are beautiful and that no matter what we go through in life, we have something to say as well. Thanks for joining the most beautiful audience on the internet, the pageant cast audience. This is Candace Marquez, Miss Bellesa Latina International 2014, wishing you Tierra dreams. Leave voicemail and comments for Tim and the pageant cast. Call 262-757-8576 and let Tim know what you think of the show. This is Corey Ann Strupp, Miss Wisconsin Collegiate America, wishing you Tierra dreams. We're back. We're back with Kelly Robbins, Mrs. Galaxy 2014. And uh, Kelly, one of the things I like to ask our guests is, how do you keep up in the world of pageants? Particularly when you're up there in Canada, you can't just uh, go to the local pageant store on every corner and, and find out what's going on. How did you keep up? Well, when I was in Canada, I have to admit, it was pageant cast. Yay! I, I have been, I've been following you since 2007, oh, so wow. honestly. And I think really it, it was watching pageants online, whatever I could, YouTube videos. It was to, I really had to be a self-learner mm -hmm. because there wasn't a lot of things in Canada where you could just go to watch pageants to learn from watching people. So yeah, it was online and the pageant cast. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much. You're so what's your favorite phase of competition? Well, Tim, I don't know if I've ever shared this with you, but I actually, I struggle very much with my weight. I mm -hmm. lost about 60 to 70 pounds about 10 years ago, and it really is a struggle. I am constantly watching what I eat and training and making sure. So swimsuit actually, even though it's the most challenging part, it actually gives me the most confidence because coming from somewhere where I struggle with being overweight, it's like a victory for me to get on stage there and be able to go, okay, you know what? I've done this and anybody can do it if I can. So tell me a little bit about what you brought for show and tell. What have you got? Okay. Well, I have had this for quite a few years, a friend of mine went and went for a tour in um, Jerusalem. She got me a rock from the Garden of Gethsemane. Wow. Yes, and I have kept this for many, many years. And what it represents to me is, a little bit of the story is, when Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed and he said, God, not my will, but yours. And I don't know if you remember, but my husband is actually a pastor of a church, and I work for a church. I do counseling for a church. And in everything that I do, I really believe that it is God's will in my life. So this holds on to it, whether it's going after a title or raising my children or doing whatever I, I need to do in my life. I always pray, God, if it's your will, allow it to happen. So that's what I have as show and tell. Well, fantastic. Very, very, that's that's a great one. That's so Thank much you. fun. So tell me what you've been doing for appearances. Uh, what type of appearances have you got lined up throughout the year? Okay, well, very exciting. Uh, in On September 11th, 
I have partnered with a charity called Hope Worldwide, and I was able to go on September 11th. I went to New York. I in. I live in Florida, as I said. I went to the Ground Zero and actually went across the street to Engine 10, which was the first firehouse that responded in 9-11. And we did a whole Hope Day where kids made thank you cards in forms of plaques. And I was able to go to Ground Zero on September 11th and present that to the fire hall, which was very exciting. Then I went in December, I actually went to Paraguay and I spoke at a women's event there. And it was an amazing event where I was able to talk a lot about having self-confidence as a woman and really being empowered to, to really take your life in your own hands and make sure that you're making the best of it. I do tons of stuff with teens. I actually just secured, I'm on my way to Brazil as well. I'm doing a three city tour in Brazil and it's again speaking to women in Brazil. And I'm going back to Paraguay in August. They've actually asked me to come back again to speak there. I think it's really important as queens that you're a self-starter and that you go after these things. I am a speaker and I've been speaking for many years, but I really have used the title to leverage and as a catalyst to be able to go do a lot of other things. So the Brazil, I actually was emceeing at a pageant a few months ago and one of the ladies in the audience, some of the things kind of went wrong in the pageant. It was an awesome pageant, but I had to wing it a lot. So she actually came up to me afterwards and found out that I was a speaker and was like, oh, that's how you did so well. So that's how this whole Brazil thing happened, was just actually being an MC. So Galaxy has really opened up some doors for me. And as I said, working with Hope Worldwide, I've been able to secure a lot of things as well with them. That's great. I love emceeing when I get the chance. And, uh, it's and you're so very good fun. at it. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very well. much. But Okay. Uh, we're just about out of time. Now, something we like to do at the end of our interviews is to see your best pageant wave. So uh, this will be graded, of course, but okay. let's see your pageant wave for us. And I have to be serious? You, you can do whatever you want. Because you know I'm a jokester, Tim. You can do whatever you want. Okay, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm digging that there. I know. It's the That's thumb a, part. Yeah, what are you doing with this It could be a turkey. Thing? There, it's a turkey wave. It's a turkey wave. Okay, hey, that would be our first turkey wave ever. You, I, I like to be original. Yeah, well, I, I do have to ask. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Is your head hurting by now with, with that crown? You know what? I said yeah. that when I was to win this crown, I would never complain, even if it was cutting into my skull. So I'll never tell you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm so happy to wear it. Yeah. I don't care. All right. Well, fantastic. Well, it sounds like you, you've been having a great year and you have much ahead of you still. And uh, just want to say congratulations one more time to our good friend, Kelly Robbins, Mrs. Galaxy 2014. Thanks so much, Kelly. Thank you, Tim. All right, we're going to say goodnight to everybody by saying Tierra Dreams. Tierra Dreams, everyone. Tierra Dreams, everybody. I like that wave better. No <laughs> poking. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Hadron Cast.